Hey everyone, welcome back to the new video. It's Namrata here. Hope you all are doing great. So, as you already know, I'm gonna create this look. It's gonna be a full on makeup tutorial today, but there is a twist. It's kind of a recreation of one of my old looks which I created in 2018. Let me show you the pic. So, this is the look I'm talking about. Although it's not an exact recreation, you can see. Uh, mainly I took the same color story in that eye makeup but the rest is pretty much different. I tried to incorporate all the makeup trends right now like the feathered eyebrows, foxy eyes and glossy lips. So with everything I think it turned out a little different but I created this change intentionally and I think for better. So this is all about today's video and I really want to thank who actually started this trend on YouTube recreating old looks. It's actually interesting so i just thought to give it a try and uh, i actually like this end look the way it turned out so if you're interested please keep on watching but if you're new on this channel please make sure to subscribe and if you find this video helpful at the end don't forget to hit the like button well here is my bare skin and i already filled my brows off camera and now starting off with carving out my brows and for that i'm using the huda beauty concealer in the shade toasted almond and i'm gonna use the same on my eyelid to prep it for the eye makeup Once blending is done, I used the MAC Studio Fix Compact Powder to set my eyelids. It will prevent creasing and also help to blend your eyeshadows evenly. And today I'll be using these clear tips as a guide and I think this is the easiest way to get very clean and even eyeshadow look. Especially when you are using darker shade in the outer corner and that's what I'm doing today. So at first I'm going to use this Amrezi palette and I'm going to take that matte black shade from this palette and that's the only shade I used from this palette but you can use any other pigmented black so at first uh, I'm creating kind of a wing in the outer corner as you can see and uh, I'm using an angled thin brush And now it's time for the second palette and this is the color pop yes please palette one of my favorites of all time so i'm gonna take that matte yellow shade and putting that almost all over my lid except that area i put the black eyeshadow earlier so just layering up that yellow shade unless i get the desired pigmentation and as you can see i'm using a very precise dense brush this kind of brush always gives a better color payoff and now i'm gonna use a little lighter shade it's kind of a beige color also a matte shade and again using that same brush but uh, putting it in between that black and yellow and blending in both the edge and to deepen up that black I'm working with the leftover pigment I had in that brush and just making sure it's looking deep enough and everything is looking seamless And then I thought I need to deepen up the outer corner a little more so I took a little pigment from that palette and uh, putting that in the extreme outer corner or you can say in the border. And then I used Maybelline eyeliner to create a very thin line close to the upper lash line and also trying to create an inner wing with that same liner but that ditched me in the midway so I switched back to my eyeshadow brush and using a black shadow to create that inner wing and now my eye makeup is almost done and the rest I'm gonna do after the base makeup so I removed those tapes and moving forward to skin prepping so at first I'm using a facial oil by Milani this is their rose face oil and putting that all over my skin and giving it a good massage and here is the foundation for today's look uh, this is a full coverage foundation by makeup revolution i love the coverage and the finishing of this foundation so at first i'm blending it with a mac foundation brush i'm gonna put the brush number and all the small details in the description box don't forget to check that out at first i'm blending it evenly with the brush and once it's done i'm gonna go with the weight beauty blender to make it look even more blended I 
and here is a trick you can do that is dampening your makeup sponge with makeup setting spray and then use it to set that foundation it will make your base makeup long lasting and less cakey and finally to set that foundation i used this mac compact powder and today i haven't used any loose powder or baked my face even once rather i went with this compact powder whenever i put a liquid base on like after the foundation after concealer i used the same powder this way my makeup looked more like skin and for concealer i'm using the huda beauty concealer one more time and as you can see i'm applying very less amount of product as this one has very very high coverage so all you need is a dot and it will cover up literally anything so at first i'm blending it with a fluffy concealer brush and then i'll go with the wet beauty blender like i did with the foundation And now it's time for bronzer it will bring back a little definition to your face your base makeup won't just look flat it will add a little warmth so I'm using the matte bronzer by Carlactic it's in the shade Casablanca but if you want you can go with any cream bronzer or any other bronzer of your choice but this one adds very subtle warm for my skin color so I stick to this and applying it on all the usual areas and for blush today I I chose this rare beauty cream blush in the shade joy and this one is crazy pigmented so all you need is just a dot and then blended it with the wet beauty blender And for highlighter today I chose this MAC Skin Finish Highlighter. This one adds very nice realistic or healthy glow to your skin, nothing over the top. Although when I was taking pictures of this look, I used the Fenty Trophy Wipe, the golden highlighter just for the pictures. And now using a black gel liner just in the corners. And now I'm using that same brush which I used with the black eyeshadow and just blending that in the lower lash line. And to smoke that line I used a matte yellow shade from the same Colourpop palette and next I went with the gel neon liner that too from Colourpop and put that in the waterline. And now as usual I'm curling my lashes following it up with the mascara and today I'm using this Makeup Revolution 5D mascara and for falsies um, I decided to use only individual lashes today that too only in the outer corner so that will bring that foxy look even better. Here is a fun thing you can try especially if you have any bump on your skin which you can't cover with any concealer you can create an artificial mole like what I'm doing right now so you can use any dark brown eyeshadow or even your eyebrow filler eyebrow pencil just create a dot and uh, take off the excess pigment with the help of beauty blender and that's pretty much it and now I'm gonna do the lips and I already had a lip balm on so removing that first and then I'm gonna go with this Rimmel lip liner this is more like a terracotta brown shade it's in the shade cafe au lait and just following my natural lip shape and for lip color today I used the Maybelline Superstay matte ink in the shade Amazonian it's a beautiful nude shade for our medium skin color and uh, this one is very very long lasting but today I wanted to have a glossy lips so I topped it up with Fenty Gloss Bomb in the shade Cake Shake that's pretty much all i've done to recreate the look although i know it turned out very different but let me know your thoughts how you like it and uh, for all the product details please check the description box below and if you found this helpful please hit the like button and stay tuned for the upcoming videos